Hey everyone, this is Darius Park and welcome to My I Praise Season 2. Darius, how's it going, man? Pretty good, good man. How are you? Hanging in there, man. So we're going to start off with uh, some music questions. Okay. Um, what is What has it been like writing songs for some of the biggest gospel artists like <laughs> Marvin Sapp, Tim the Man? Just talk about what, what that's like. Uh, what has it been like? It's all of those people uh, were people that I looked up to uh, kind of growing up. Um, so to write for them, to have them sing my music, and um, most of all, have them make my music their radio singles is still like humbling to me. It still kind of blows my mind. So um, yeah, it's been a, it's, it, it, it's a very fulfilling feeling. Yeah. So, <laughs> so when you hear, you know, because you know, when you guys are warming up, you know, I'm, I'm hearing you say no white greater, mm -hmm. I'm singing it, and you know, that's a, <laughs> like when you hear people sing your music, how does that make you feel? Uh, I was telling somebody this morning, I know where I came from, so I know what my beginnings were. So to come from where I came from and to have people all over the world sing my music, um, you know, in arenas and small churches, like it's a, it's a very humbling thing just to kind of have, have that reach. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where do you get your influence and inspiration uh, from when you're writing and composing music? Uh, a lot of my influence comes from the old, uh, not, I don't want to call them old heads, but the, the trailblazers of our genre. That's a better way to say it. Uh, Andre Crouch, uh, Walter Hawkins, Richard Smallwood, um, Donald Lawrence, uh, Thomas Whitfield, Rudolph Stanfield, like a lot of those, um, trailblazers, uh, uh, singer-songwriter duos, Twinkie Clark, um, a lot of those uh, singer-songwriter uh, uh, artists uh, I gleaned from a lot early on. That's good stuff. Um, your album title, Strong, mm -hmm. right? It speaks volumes. It's a strong word, obviously. Um, you know, how did you come up with the title, and what does that mean uh, to the music? You know, how, what is, how do you describe your title when, you know, when you're talking about your album? Like, why did you name it Strong? Uh... I think that a lot of times, and I, I really just kind of based it on how I was uh, reacting before I kind of, you know, realized what kind of power I had. Um, I think a lot of times we panic and we just get so overwhelmed by the cares of life and when the, the enemy starts, you know, raging his head and life starts throwing things at you. I think a lot of times we as Christians, um, I'm not even talking about the non-believers. We as Christians, we kind of panic and we go into this 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 depression phase. Not to discredit um, depression at all, but we go into this thing like we don't know what the outcome is going to be of the situation that we're in. And I have just chosen to really just stand firm on the word um, that says that you know all things work together for them that love the Lord. So everything that I'm going through, everything that hits my life, everything that hits the lives of my family, my friends, I don't really worry about those things. I'm strong in my belief that um, that says that God is going to work it out no matter what it is, no matter how hard it is, no matter how rough it may seem, at the end of the day it's going to teach me a lesson and God's going to work it out at the end. Yeah, it's, it's funny because you know everyone kind of has those trials and tribulations in life, right? And um, you know, being in church, is, you turn to God and so speak to, you know, a trial and tribulation that you kind of had to go through, the testimony uh, that came from that. Do you have a, a moment like that in life that you can remember? Maybe it was a turning oh point God. for you. <laughs> so there's, there's a lot <laughs> yeah, there's right? a lot of different <laughs> moments like that. Um, I can just say that uh, just around the time that I wrote Nobody Greater, I had lost my job. My roommate had lost his job. My car had broken down. The set. This is all in one day. Wow. So um, just all that pressure, you know, just kind of just overwhelmed me. I remember being just in a very, very just low state, and um, I just started writing, and I looked up maybe six months to a year later, and my life was completely different than what it was around that time. So that, that just kind of, you know, just start kind of sparking that thought in my mind, like, Things will not really stay the way that they are. They're always changing. And when we really choose to trust God, that kind of helps us go through the hard times a little easier because we know at the end of the day, 
God's gonna work it out no matter how hard it is, no matter how rough it, is, how, how rough it gets, God's gonna work it out in my favor. So, um, the last time I saw you was at St. Jude. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you hit the stage at St. Jude. Uh, talk about what that moment meant for you. I know you said it was the first time that you Yeah. Hit. Talk about what that moment meant for you. Because it was, oh man, it's powerful. <laughs> we still wiping tears. Yeah, man, man yeah. <laughs> um, first of all, I just love kids. So, <laughs> you talk about your kids or any kind of kids and them being like, you know, uh, hungry or without or sick, like that's automatically like a, a tear jerker for me because I just, I really, really love kids. So to be able to be a part of that uh, that weekend to go and visit with the kids. I made slime with them, I, you know, colored with them, did all those things. So to just to be a part of that and to then be able to um, perform my song and encourage the people who were who were there who equally love you know St. Jude and the kids. It was just a really great experience for me. I I'm almost like I want to go back every year now <laughs> because it was just really just impactful. I love the way that I felt when I when I was going home. I felt like I was a part of something. I had aligned myself with something that was meaningful and impactful to other people's lives, and that's really what I would like for my legacy to be. You know, uh, just like you know Danny Thomas. I think is it? Yeah, yeah, Danny yeah, Thomas. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just like Danny Thomas. Like I really would like for my life at the end of it all to be as impactful, if not more uh, impactful. Um, as a result of the service that I give to other people. That's awesome, man. That's good stuff. Yes, sir. All right, so before we get into the performance, hey. I just kind of want to hop back into the music for one second. Mm -hmm. um, so gospel music, you know, has evolved over the years, obviously, right? So now, you know, the millennials kind of, you know, inserting themselves into the gospel world, and sometimes you'll have some traditional contemporary gospel artists that might not understand it. So just speak to the younger kids and... Um, Kind of give them a message of, you know, if they kind of wanted to take your route, uh, what should they do? What should they kind of look out for? Um, that's a, a slippery, slippery slope, you know, <laughs> um, because a lot of times um, I know that uh, Andre Crouch, um, I, I saw a documentary um, on him, and he was saying that when they first came out, people were looking at them like they were just like these radical people. But when you listen to his music now, it's just like traditional gospel music, you know? So I think that music is always evolving. Creativity is always evolving. And the advice that I would give to, to the generation that's coming up behind me is to be just genuinely yourself. Be authentic to who you are, to what God gave to you. Because to try to make this, to, to try to make another generation fit into a mold says to them that what you have is not good enough. And it says to God that what you gave them is not good enough. You know what I'm saying? So I think that my advice to anyone, everyone that's you know trying to do music and, and coming up in this new uh, wave of, of gospel music and this new wave of artists is to just be authentically yourself. Don't try to be anybody. If you do it the way you do it, if you hone your craft, um, perfect your craft, then that makes you a contender. Nobody can do it like you can do it. And God gave something to you specifically to reach a certain amount of people. So never compromise who you are. Never compromise your music to sound like anybody. Never compromise your music to fit the wave. You know, I always tell people, be the earthquake that starts the wave. Nice. Don't be the wave, you know, because waves subside. You know, every, every couple seconds they subside. So um, that's my advice. Be authentically yourself. Uh, hone your craft. Learn the business. Um, because a lot of people like to get in it for the glitz and the glam, but there's a business side to our industry. You got to learn that or you'll be, you know, talented but broke or talented but messed up, you know. So that's my advice. Be authentically yourself. Educate yourself on the, on the industry that you want to be a part of and just go. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'm going to perform a song that I've written that you may know and a brand new song from my record. Hey, welcome back everyone. I'm Darius Palk. This is my guitarist Tremaine. We're getting ready to perform a song that you may know and a brand new song off of my new record entitled Strong. Go get it. First song we're going to do is Nobody Great. I wrote this song, uh, like I said before, at a very, very interesting time in my life. But um, just, you know, to encourage somebody out there, beautiful things kind of come out of very ugly situations. And this is one of those beautiful things. Clap your, clap your hands, snap your fingers wherever you are. There we go. 
I climbed up to the highest mountain I looked all around, couldn't find nobody Yeah I went down into the deepest valley Looked all around down there, couldn't find nobody No, 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 no I went across the deep blue sea couldn't find one to compare to your grace, your love, your mercy. Nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Yeah, yeah. Searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, and I still couldn't find nobody. So nobody greater. Nobody greater, see nobody greater than you, yeah, say it again, searched all over, couldn't find nobody, I looked high and low, and I still couldn't find nobody, see nobody greater, see nobody greater, see nobody greater than you. Repeat after me, say this. Say your name is above all names. Your name, your name, your name. You're worthy of all my praise. You're worthy, you're worthy. Say, and mighty are the works of your hands. Yeah. Say, and mighty are the works of your hands. Oh, your name. So this next song, um, again, I wrote, you know, just very beautiful things, beautiful creativity, beautiful songs come out of very just interesting situations. Um, I wrote Strong Name when uh, my mentor had been diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer. My grandfather was uh, battling cancer at the same time. So I just wrote something that I needed to, like, lift me up out of the place that I was in. And um, I wanted to write something opposite of what I felt. So I didn't feel strong. I didn't feel great. I didn't feel powerful at all. So I wanted to write a song opposite of how I felt that boasted in the power and the strength and the, str um, in the, in the greatness of our God. Strong name. <laughs> sickness oh you are the strong name your name is more powerful than darkness oh you are the strong name and your name it's bigger than mountains oh you are the
provider you are the strong name there's nobody like you Lord you're in a class of your own for you are the strong name you are the strong name you are the strong name oh Lord I run to you to be safe I run to you to be secure when you are the strong name there's nobody like And whatever does and say the same, we will stand and proclaim. And when heartache does end, when it doesn't say the same, we will stand and proclaim. Last time. Right, guys thanks so much for joining me on my I praise season two um, I want you to go out and purchase my brand new CD entitled strong um, it's got some really great stuff on there some melting pot of a lot of different uh, sounds and uh, expressions of music um, so make sure you go and get it um, you can find me on social media on all media platforms uh, Darius at Darius Park d-a-r-i-u-s P-A-U-L-K, and make sure you go and hit download wherever you buy your music. Thank you so much.